Hiya folks, just a little tinkering about video today. I just want to show you a few little handy tips that you might uh, want to employ if you, you've got dodgy paintwork or whatever on a lawnmower or something like that. So let's have a little look and see what we've got today. Right, so as you know, this is that Mountfield lawnmower that we uh, have ordered the new spring for, so the cover's still off it, but uh, the paintwork, as you can probably see, is very, very sort of dull and faded. Uh, Gary's actually given this a clean over with some wax, but still the surface is still very faded. We've got around the front there, we've got some bits of uh, rust there, for example, and you normally get them around the front there as well. So we're just gonna probably touch these up with some red paint. We've got some smooth uh, hammerite paint which we're gonna use there. The black plastics, for example, like this, these can make a lawnmower look very tired as well. So I've got this product, which is a Pledge Revive It. It's basically a, a clear liquid floor gloss, uh, which you would normally do on a, a floor and bring it up to a luster, a, a really bright sh uh, shine. And it could be ideal for just giving your deck or your plastics a bit of a coating. Some people normally use uh, WD-40 to clean these down. And yes, they do look nice, but that literally wipes off with the first time someone wipes it off or whatever, and it leaves a residue so that people can get oily and greasy on it sort of thing. This stuff actually cures and goes off, and it should give like a lacquer, a clear lacquer type finish. So we're gonna try some of this first and see what this actually does. So I've just got a plastic cup there. Let's just put a little quantity in our plastic cup. Now again, I'm not too sure on how we're going to uh, apply this first of all. I use this on my model cars. When I restore model cars, the uh, plastic windscreen sometimes are very, very jaded and scratched and whatever, and I flatten them off and then you, I, I normally dip them in this stuff and it comes back to a real lot nice luster. So what I'll try first, this has all been cleaned and wiped down basically, so uh, it, it's free from dirt and grease. So I'll just try a little bit on there first of all, and just to, as you can see, look, we'll give it a coat and then we'll let it dry and see what happens. So again, just we're looking just to get the sheen back on it. And I'm just looking for a nice way to apply it. And maybe this is or isn't the way. It should dry it smooth. So I'll leave this to dry for 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't matter if we go over the label. I just want to get it well covered. Okay, so we'll just leave that like that. And we'll let that go off. As you can see, I've not done the top half. And we'll come around to this portion of the, the uh, lawnmower deck. Again, this has all been wiped off, so. And as you can see there, we'll just wipe it on. And I'm sure you can see so far that it's bringing back a nice shine to our surface of our lawnmower. I'll just go around that side first of all. Now we'll just leave that and uh, see what that does. And coming down on these sort of rusty bits here, again, we just wanna just take off that surface rust there. Again, we're not looking for perfection. We're just tidying up the ugly rust spots that we can't really do much about about spraying the whole deck, which we don't really want to do. And it's just, so just a matter of tidying them up. This is 180 grit sandpaper I've got here. Again, I'm not doing too much. We're just keying the paint up basically and uh, keying the rust up. Being careful to avoid the graphic. And uh, all I've got here, as you can see, is some red smooth right. And all we'll literally do is just fill in just our little bits of red there. Again, we're not trying to get a blend of the right color. We're just tidying it up for, for the new customer.
right, okay, we decided not to mess about, touching it up at the front, it looked absolutely awful, I'll be honest with you, so the only thing to do was to strip it right the way down, it's a solid deck, it's going to be quite an expensive lawnmower this one, so it was worth doing, and all Gary's done is just go over it with an 80 grit sanding disc, and we've just gone over the areas where there is little bits of spot rust with the old Vactown rust treatment, so that's what we've done there now, and all we're going to do now is just wait for it to cure off, Again, coming around this side, you can see everything's feathered in nicely there. Okay then, so we've rubbed it all down now. We've just gone over it with 180 grit paper. Um, I was going to fill the front, these little bits, but I'm going to leave them just to show you what they look like anyway. So let's have a quick look around it before we actually start preparing it. The thing I want to get across to you here is that it hasn't got to be like you're repairing a car where everything's got to be perfect. We've still got some blemishes, but the only thing I wanted to do was to make sure that when you rub your finger over the paint, there's no sort of lips. If you can feel a lip, then that's going to show through straight away. So we've sanded everything down to a feathered edge there, as you can probably see. And there's some bare patches, obviously, the metal where it's gone back to the metal. Don't forget we treated all this with the uh, Vactan treatment as well. Where it's gone discoloured, that's the uh, Vactan, which has converted the rust. I'm not worried about this. We're going to paint straight over all this. But first of all, we're going to need to prime it first. And because we're on bare metal, we're going to use a zinc aluminium, aluminium zinc spray. This is corrosion protection. So you can use any sort of metal preparation stuff just to go onto bare metal. And that's what we're going to do now. So all we're going to do is literally, we're not going to spray the whole deck with this. So all we're going to do literally is just cover up these bare areas. Do put a mask on. Don't go on with a heavy coat first of all, you want just a light coat first of all, otherwise you'll find it could react with the edges. So literally just go around where there's bare metal, up on the handles there, and literally just give it a light coat. The temptation is to whack it on heavy, you don't want to do that. Just let that first coat flash off. We all get trigger happy when we've got a can of spray in our hands, but just resist it. And if there is any sign of edges, by putting a light coat on, you'll find that bonds it a lot better. On with the extract. We'll let that go off for a few minutes, and then we'll do we'll dust on another coat, and then we we'll, might give a third coat just to give it a bit more heavier coat, and then we can put our colour on. And that's what we're going to do. We'll leave that for a while and we come back to it once we put the last two coats on of undercoat. One thing you will find handy is if you've got one of these hot air blowers, just to help you cure the paint off. Don't hold it too near though. Just keep moving it, don't leave it in one stop. It just helps the flashing off time. Otherwise you can be waiting 20 minutes to half an hour. This just decreases that flash off time. Right, okay. That's it, we're giving it two coats. We're gonna let this go off now. Uh, then we're gonna lacquer it. We won't lacquer it in this video. We might as well do a part two to this one where we lacquer it and put it all back together. But let's just show you around it quickly. Again, not gotta be perfect, as you can see. We've got a couple of little blemishes as we knew there, but you can't really see them. And once you get the lacquer over the top, it's a lot better than seeing them old rusty marks and uh, everything there is all covered up and sealed. Coming around here as well. As you can see, it's quite a good condition lawnmower, actually. That's why we've uh, chose to do this. These are the labels which have been taped over there. We've got one there. And obviously the one there as well. So when we come to lacquer it, we'll peel them off and then uh, lacquer the label over as well, so that protects it. But uh, yeah, as you can see, just a can of rattle can paint. We've done this because we picked this paint up very, very cheaply from Car Boots House. Probably about £1.50 a tin, something like that. So. It's cost effective to do this. What I was gonna do, but again, I forgot when we was halfway through this, was to powder, I've got my powder coating oven there. So we will powder coat a lawnmower deck, but because we'd already started this one, and started rubbing it down and whatever, 
we've obviously just carried on and doing it the, 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 the rattle can way. The lacquer we're going to put on top of it is which is going to be impervious to petrol so you don't want to just go over this with a normal rattle can lacquer because you'll find that as soon as someone spills any petrol on it or something it'll all start to bubble up so you've got to protect it we're going to do it with a, a 2k car lacquer as we normally do and that will seal all this paint in so it doesn't really matter what grade of paint you use for the base coat as i said this is just normal one pound 50 cans we got from a car boot sale and it's just providing the color the protection comes with the lacquer and it's a good quality lacquer we use as well so next one we'll do we will powder coat it as i said just to see how it comes out and uh, yeah we'll leave this video here don't forget to rate comment and also subscribe if you like our videos as well. And I'd also like to thank um, one of my subscribers, I don't think there was a message with this one, who bought me these um, US Pro circlet plier sets there, as you can see. Mine I've had for years and years, and uh, these are obviously fantastic, brand new. Uh, as I say, I've had my ones, the original ones, since about the 1980s, and uh, they're rubbish. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much indeed, and we'll see you in the next video, part two to this probably. And until then, bye for now.